All right, so I have my stitches as tight as I can go. I think I have a little extra space, so I might have gone back and done a couple more, but the first thing you're gonna do before you take it off is you need to tie your last string to a warped thread. So my spot here, I actually did a little bit of red in the middle, so then I just tied it around one warp string. And that would be like a knot to hold the whole thing in place. And now I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm gonna trim these little tails off first. So let me see if I can turn you guys so you can see this. I'm right about here. So I'm gonna take this, get some scissors, and I'm going to cut as close to the knot, but without cutting the knot. If you cut the knot, you're gonna take your whole weaving apart. So you wanna to try to get close to the knot, but not the actual knot. So I'm cutting all of those tails off. And some that are woven in, I'm gonna pull them out. And sometimes I like to like, poke these knots that are hanging out into my weaving so you can't see them. And I just tuck them in between the stitches and they're not as noticeable. Sorry, lunch just got out. So if some kids come in and are loud, I apologize. Oh, a couple knots up here. So I'm cutting some knots on my loom. I'm just finishing getting the last one. Sorry guys, some people just entered. Oh, so I have all my knots done and I tuck them, the ones that are big, in between the stitches. Then you're gonna go to the back of the loom. You're gonna take off this tape on the back and you have your two warp strings right here. You're gonna take them together and you wanna tie a knot. So I take them, wrap and wrap. You just wanna make sure that it's a knot that won't come undone. So you tie them together. like so. So you have a knot on those two warp strings. That's why it's kind of nice to have extra. And now I'm going to start at the bottom. Everyone that has a string, I'm going to bend it forward. Bend it forward, bend forward. And then you're going to use your fingers to pull that string over that little notch. So I'm pulling it over and I'm pulling it over and then it comes off the front. And that's when you can start stretching your weaving out like so. Same thing. So I'm going to flip to the top here. And those ones with the loops over it, I'm going to push them down and pull the loop over. Sometimes they get stuck, like so. And then pull this one. And then I pull these final two strings. And then I like to use the warp strings as like a little hanger. And see, I have a little tail here. I'm going to trim. Sorry, more guys are entering. I apologize if it's loud. But when you finish, you should have a tight weaving. You'll be successful because you can kind of stretch it out and not have holes in it. And then I might trim my fringe after. But that is what it's going to look like when you take it off the loom. Mm.